Hello and welcome to today's race preview as we're talking about the Bank of America 500 as Charlotte. The only night race in the chase. Now I do want to apologize for anybody that wanted to watch last week's video that I didn't make. Oh, well, that wanted to watch last week's episode. I didn't make one because I was coughing all last weekend. Sort of, uh, sick I guess you could say. And, uh... Yeah, so I didn't make a video. Uh, I did do a race reaction video though. But what is going on? Oh, I know what's going on. Driver assist are turned off because I did a uh, league race. Okay, there we go. So, so that happened. Um, but we're back. And let's just say last week's race was eventful. As you know, Kevin Harvey, my favorite driver, had to win Dover to advance. Now, last week I did pick three drivers that I thought had a good shot to win Dover. I, I made my picks myself. I didn't obviously have a video that I said I did. But I picked Kevin Harvick, Jimmy Johnson, and Kyle Busch. So for only the fourth time this year, I picked the right winner. So, here we go, though. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm sorry I missed last week's video. We should be back for the rest of the year. So, I might cough occasion like once in this video. But, um, yeah, so here we go. Last week's race was very eventful. Jimmy McMurray, Jimmy Johnson, Paul Menard, and Clint Boyer all got eliminated from the chase. Uh, Jimmy McMurray and Dale Jr. actually tied to get uh, to the next round. And it went off a of best finish. And... That best finisher was Dale Jr. at Dover with third. So, Jimmy Johnson got knocked out after a uh, seal in the axle broke. And uh, he sort of got to... Had to go fix it. Um, so, the Charlotte race, the first race of round two of the chase, where 12 drivers battled out to go for the championship. Last year's winner was Kevin Harvick. This year's pole setter is Matt Kenseth. So, what sort of is going to uh, go down? You're probably going to see some guys try to get the win here, and uh, because the first two races this round are going to be very important. Charlotte and Kansas are very important to get a good finish at. That way, you can go to Talladega and not have to worry. So. Um, I don't know what I gotta say in this video. I haven't been doing this in a while. Um, <laughs> no. So, oh yeah, how to run the track is next. But first, uh, yeah, but it was a very interesting race at Dover. Uh, back to Dover for a minute. Uh, I was excited when Kevin Harvick won that race. But I think that it was a good race overall. We get to see what happens in the second round. And, um,. Oh yeah, the burnout. That caused a bit of controversy. Now, over a couple of weeks, restarts have been a big controversy. Nothing came of restarts at Dover. They made the restart box bigger. The leader did his restart, second place card, and jump to start, whatever. So, the big thing was Kevin Harvick's burnout. Where, the way he did a burnout, he very lightly tapped the wall. Now... Dover is a very difficult track to do a burnout because the banking is pretty steep around the whole track. So Kevin Harvey did a burnout and he's lightly hit the wall and they're like, oh, he hit the wall because they didn't want them to do stuff for inspection, whatever. Um, you know, because lots of times they get flat tires. They blow the tires doing stuff. You know, they celebrate the win. So he barely tapped the back thing. Didn't really affect the car at all. Uh, but of course, some drivers had to make a deal about it. And it's of all the drivers, it'd be Denny Hamlin, who's from the team that's won like the last like four races in a row or something like that. His team won like 13 races this year, and he's the one that's complaining. Like, oh, they're cheating, but you know, his Joe Gibbs Racing has won 13 races. Nobody said it. The second somebody else wins, though, blame people for cheating. I don't know. Either way, um, so that was a big uh, thing about the burnouts. So, Kevin Harvick's crew chief, Rodney Childers, went on to Instagram and posted Kevin Harvick's burnouts from the past, like, three years. 
actually no, the past like four years. He posted the burnouts from this year, 2014, 2013, 2012. All the years he posted burnouts that Kevin Harvey did. So, that was sort of funny. Um, either way, how to run Charlotte. Charlotte's a very unique track that you can run a couple different lines at. Now, it's not unique in the shape or anything, but it's unique in the lines. Because you can run three very distinct lines. So, how to run different lines here at Charlotte. So, we're going to start the... Here, you can really run wherever you want on the front stretch. So, I'm not worrying about that. The corners, though, you can get a really low, low, low entry. You can run here right along that white line the whole way. And you shoot up against the wall. It's one way that you can really run Charlotte. Now I did slow it down a bit so I could stay down there because I typically can't stay that low on the line. Next line you can run. You can run a bit faster line. Here in the middle of the track. There you go. You can run the middle. And then you go back up against the wall. So the middle is a good spot to run. If you gotta really pass a car that's down low. Or if you're just trying to make a bit more speed. Because you don't have to get out of the ass so much to run down there. And the next line that you can run. Is right up against that wall. So I'm trying not to hit the wall here for you. Um, I'm, I'm going a bit slower than you would normally have to, but I'm trying not to hit the wall. So that's where you can run also. Run a race right up against that wall. There you go. I'm breaking a bit harder on the entry. And um, so now, so those are the three lines you'll see run. So. Now it's time for me to show you how I run this track in NASCAR 13 in my leagues and stuff. So I'm just running the corner, no brakes, slide up from about the middle, right there, bounce off on exit, there you go. So I don't let off at all. So I run, I enter about the middle, sometimes run down towards the bottom, let the car slide up against the wall, bounce off, let the car slide down. And keep driving. That's how I run this track myself uh, with my leagues or if I'm just racing for fun. That's not how I run though. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's how I run the track. So, who are my picks to win at Charlotte? Three drivers that I think have a chance to go to victory lane and advance to the next round. Kevin Harvick. Haha, -ha, surprise, surprise. Not really, I've picked him on every single race this year. Um, next pick, Michael and I know. Uh, I'm going to pick Carl Edwards to have a good shot here. And I'm going to pick Kyle Busch. So, last year's winner in the chase, Kevin Harvick. This year's winner of the Coca-Cola 600, Carl Edwards. And the driver that's qualified second in today's race, Kyle Busch, to finish. One spot better than that. So obviously I hope Kevin Harvick wins. Uh, if you watch this, just comment who your favorite driver is. That'd be cool to uh, you know see what other people like. But, um... Yeah, we'll see who advances the next round of the chase, if a chase driver wins. There's only 12 now. When here, they're going on to the final 8. Because I think, now I'm going to go off here for a second. I think that if... Kevin Harvick makes it through this round. He has a good shot to go to the championship round. Because he typically has a good run at Phoenix. The last four races that they did there, he won the race. So he's pretty good at Phoenix. So I have a good feeling that if Kevin Harvick can make it through 
this round. He has a shot to go to Homestead and try to go for that championship. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm sorry about last week that you uh, didn't have a video, but uh, we're here for the next how many weeks. We'll see you uh, hopefully in the race reaction video. But also, for the next race, we would talk about Kansas. Big race right there. And uh, hopefully we're reviewing for the fort with the... Oh my, what the hell? That game just glitched out really bad. It's not the first time that I've hit that wall and the game glitched out. So, uh, hopefully we are here next, next uh, time. Reviewing with the four car again, that'd be cool. You know, it's been months since we've reviewed with this four car, so it's sort of cool to be uh, back talking to you here with this car. Either way, uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, thank, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate the viewers.